I'm back. We're just getting a light so you can actually see me, but you don't really need to see me because it's all about the moon tonight. Instagram, you're very patient. Thank you. All the Instagram people have been sitting there waiting while we've been doing this. Okay, so Olivia has just gone to get a light so you can actually see me. Uh, hi, everybody. Hopefully, we're in the right place. We're just um, getting a light. Hello, Instagram. Oh, patient, patient Instagram. All right, while we're getting in the zone, oh, here he comes with a nice big light. Yay! Thanks, darling. Actually, that's almost too bright. You can just take it back a bit. Take it back a bit towards you. You could take it back a little bit. No, no, like to where your foot is. Yeah, that's plenty. That's great. Thanks, darling. That's plenty. Hopefully, can you see the fire? I'm sure you can see the fire. All right, this is just chaos, darling. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's it. You are relieved, darling. Thank you. Sorry for being annoying. All right. You can see the flames anyway. Thank you, darling. Poor fellow. We had a meeting that went too long, and so we were a bit late getting started. Hopefully, you're a bit late getting started as well. And here we all are. And we have the fire burning bright for the full moon ceremony. So, what is going on this full moon, and what are we going to do? I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to start with some chanting. Then, I'm going to talk about what the heck is going on in the world. Then we're going to talk about this full moon in particular. Then we're going to do some release work into the fire. And then we're going to do a card to sort of get some feedback. All right. So I'm just going to tell you again, we're going to do some chanting. We're going to talk about what the heck is going on in the world. We're going to talk about this full moon in particular. We're going to do some release work. And then we'll do a card um, about what we need to do in our lives. So just before I get into all of that, let me just say, I, I, you know, all this full moon stuff, I first learned about really in India um, in about 2004 or five. And uh, it was an ashram that I went to just by chance uh, the Sri Narayani Peedam in southern India um, where they you know like on a night to night because the full moon actually takes place in about 12 hours from now so 7 a.m. ish tomorrow morning UK time for example so they'll be doing their big full moon celebrations tonight and what happens there is the whole village and people from miles and miles around all go to the ashram and uh, they do amazing things like they have like people walking through the streets this is like every full moon it's not just on you know special full moons um, or they've done it loads of times while I've been there which didn't seem to be special events in particular and so people have like offerings of fruit and saris and perfume and incense and you know crystals and they walk around the village and everybody just like really you know pays homage to the full moon and uh, it's a big deal because uh, the full moon represents the goddess and the ashram that I go to uh, is all about um, the triple goddess of uh, Narayani which is Lakshmi, Saraswati and Durga and uh, yeah it's a really really powerful time so that's how I kind of got into doing the, these for those of you who've got no clue what you're watching I'm Yasmin Boland I'm an astrologer and I'm a moonologer I'm the world's first moonologer and I'm the uh, uh, best-selling Sunday Times best-selling Hay House author and uh, so that's how I got into all of this and um, I mean it changed my life and I think it can change everyone's life and when I was writing my book, Moonology, which I don't have a copy of with me now, but it's an amazing book, uh, Moonology. Um, when I was writing that, I basically asked the universe, asked the goddess to please help me know what I should say to help translate the experiences I had had in India 
uh, at the ashram at full moon because back in the day when I first went 15 years ago it was really all about the full moon the new moon they actually weren't celebrating which is kind of funny because I was celebrating new moon more than full moon and they were celebrating full moon more than new moon and so I asked sort of I asked the divine I prayed I did fire I did yagams I chanted and I asked that I be given some guidance about what to do for full moon and what came up was uh, what I have come up with and what we do, which is um, release work, releasing it all to the divine, forgiveness work, forgiveness and release. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm just gonna start off though with three, three one-line chants. I think most of you like chants, but if you don't like chanting, don't worry. I'm not gonna be chanting for hours and hours. I'm just gonna do a quick chant. Um, and it's the chant actually from the ashram uh, it's actually a chant they do all over India, um, but you know it, it means a lot to me because of my experience there over the last 15 years. I was actually wondering today, I wonder what the COVID situation is like in India. Maybe it's a good time to go to India. Um, but it means a lot to me. It is Sanskrit. It's Om Namo Narayani. Many of you know this chant because I've taught it to you. Om Namo Narayani which Narayani is the name of the triple goddess. And, uh, and it just basically means I surrender to the divine mother. And you know, it is important to remember that we are divine. And in fact, my teacher at the ashram, um, Sri Shakti Narayani Amar, who's basically one of my, my spiritual teachers, probably my main um, spiritual teacher actually, um, always makes the point of saying, we are all divine. We are all divine, you know, it's just that, Someone like Sri Shakti Narayani Amma knows it and we still can't quite get our heads around the fact that we are divine. Well, we are divine and if you know what I do, if you follow what I do, you know I'm a lot about manifesting. I love a bit of manifesting. And, uh, you know, when you think that we are all divine, that makes sense that we can manifest. You know, like, why couldn't we manifest if we're divine? So it all kind of, it's all wheels within wheels within wheels. So I'm going to do the uh, Om Namo Narayani chant three times, and then we'll um, get into everything else that we're going to be doing here tonight. The fire seems to be going quite well, so I'll just, I won't, I won't provoke it. So here we go. So if you just want to do it with me, you can just listen, or if you know the chant, you can chant along with me. And... As you do it, get into the, your head, get into your, the idea that you are giving your everything, everything to the divine. Anything you've been through, any upsets you've had this month, any dramas you've experienced, any fears that have come up, and this is actually a good moon for releasing fears. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But just, you can see my fire. You can see the fire here. I'm burning this for everybody who's watching all over the world, whether you're watching the live, whether you're on Facebook, you're on Instagram, you're watching the rebroadcast, doesn't matter. If you're watching it, it's for you, this fire. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you to just think of, start to start the process of just letting it all go into the fire so it can be transmuted all right so here we go just close your eyes and breathe breathe in hold breathe out salva mangala mangale shive here we go high five here we go we're back oh I'm offering up this full moon ceremony to the Divine Mother who always looks after her children and before 
I go any further, I just want to suggest something to you. If you've been having a rough time recently, consider the possibility that there are things happening for your own good that you don't even understand yet or maybe never will. Okay? And one phrase that springs to mind as I say that is the idea that, you know, rejection is protection rejection is protection so if you've been having a tough time all right just remember it could well be that it's happening for your own good for reasons you either don't understand yet or will never understand i'm a little bit far away from the screen to see exactly what's going on and oh, no, maybe i can see here i think there might be spammers um we didn't uh we didn't manage to um, block the spammers today like we normally do. Let's have a look. Uh, all right, there we are. I can see your comments now, which is great. Just have to turn that off. Okay. All right, so now, first of all, before we go any further, I want to talk about what is going on in the world, okay? So this year was always going to be better okay and it is in some ways better not for the people in Ukraine obviously and not for those of us who are concerned about it which is pretty much everybody but I knew we were going to turn the corner and we have turned the corner seemingly on the pandemic thank goddess thank god thank goddess thank all everything so first of all before we go any further I want to just take a moment to have to feel some gratitude for the fact that we are still here you know I was walking down the street in London today and uh, I'm just going to touch wood here but I was looking around and I was seeing all the people having a coffee out in the sunshine having a lovely time with their friends I was actually looking at some older people as well some people who look like and they're in their 70s or their 80s and I was looking at them and I was thinking you know like we are the survivors of what just happened you know of the whole past two years of the pandemic these are the survivors because not everybody was lucky enough to survive it and we have survived this this thing we've been through so I'm just going to ask you to put your hands over your heart okay I'm just going to ask you to take a moment to be grateful that we are even here after everything that we've all been through as a as a human race you know the last two years so just close your eyes I mean I almost ended up in hospital with COVID I was sick as a dog I almost went to hospital I was probably almost on a ventilator I think under normal circumstances had it not been for COVID um, meaning that the hospitals were already overrun I would have been in hospital my oxygen sats were down to 90 you're supposed to go to hospital if they're at 93 Okay, I'm grateful to be here. So let's all just have a moment to be grateful that we are here, okay? And that all the people that we love that are still here are here. That we've made it through, pretty much almost there now, I think. And just say thank you universe thank you thank you for being here thank you for me being here thank you thank you for the chance to get through and i'm just going to tell you something i've i've barely told anyone this i told my beautiful friend kyle gray who i know many of you know when i had COVID, i had the most extraordinary experience one night i had 40 degree fever for five days and uh and, I, and as I said, if you know anything about oxygen sats, my sats were down to 90, okay? The doctor said, one more degree, you have to go to hospital. And never phoned me to see if I was okay, but never mind about that. <laughs> anyway, I had this really full on dream one night when I had the fever. And it was, I, I do want to tell you, I do want to tell you, even though it's a bit strange, I actually dreamed that I was being given the option to leave the planet. 
And I told Kyle about this and he said that he believed that there were some quite dark energies that came up for people when they had COVID. And I think he's right. But I felt like I, had, I was literally, my spirit was off the planet and I was looking at planet Earth I, I barely told anyone I know in my real life this, and I'm now saying this on Facebook and Instagram, but I just want to share it. And I was looking at the planet, and I was literally given the option, stay or go. It was really effing intense. I don't know if my husband's hearing that. <laughs> He's looking at me saying, I didn't, even, I, didn't even, I didn't even tell him that. I didn't tell anyone. It was just weird. I told Kyle. And, and of course, I said, no, I'm staying. And I came back to Earth. It was really weird. And then I told Kyle, because we talked about the fact that COVID was quite a weird, dark experience. And uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd share that. But I think we've turned the corner. Now, you might be saying, okay, we've turned the corner, but what the heck is going on in the world? Well, I want to start by saying, because I'm really, you know, I want to talk about the integrity of astrology. And I need to make the point that before the pandemic, the world was not perfect. Okay? The world was not perfect. We have people being used as slaves in the world. We have women on a regular basis being kidnapped and trafficked to be used as basically sex toys by members of the patriarchy. We have um, people being beaten. We have wars in Somalia and Yemen and goodness knows where else. We have, we have you know, places, especially women, where women have no rights whatsoever, where they're treated as goods and chattel. The world was not perfect before the pandemic. And we need to get our heads around that, you know, and go, okay, so the world wasn't perfect before the pandemic. We can't expect it to be perfect after the pandemic. So we need to, that's why I said we've got to take a moment to be at least grateful now that we can hug our grandmas and we can hug our parents and we can see our friends and we can travel again and people are working again. You know, I've got a couple of friends who work in the travel industry. They almost lost their business. They didn't. You know, there are plenty of people who did lose their businesses. They lost loved ones. We have to focus on the positive while we send our good wishes out into the world. Um, regarding what's going on in Ukraine, which is so such a big deal, but partly just because it's in Europe, you know, and there's been a war in Somalia for I don't know how long, you know, people are dying every day and nobody, we, you know, this is like, it's a bit of that. So we need to kind of like, I just want to kind of orient you and, you know, just say all this as we move towards the full moon. Um, now, regarding the astrology that's going on right now, um, it was funny actually because I was reading the diary, for those of you who've got the diary, my Moonology Diary 2022, Sunday Times bestseller, thanks to you. So I was reading about um, March, what I wrote about March. Um, and basically what I wrote about without knowing what would be going on in Ukraine was about the biennial meeting of the planet of anger, Mars, and the planet of fury, Pluto. In other words, if you're in a bad mood as March begins, or you're around someone who's grumpy, watch out. And uh, March is going to be a minefield, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, little did I know when I wrote that, that in fact the whole world was going to be a tinderbox uh, with Mars, Pluto. Um, but I think, please God touch wood, I feel like we've got through... I feel like we've got through the Mars Pluto thing. We still have Mars Uranus coming up on March the 22nd, but there's some actually quite good astrology coming. And this full moon is making a harmonious aspect to Pluto, the planet of transformation. Okay. So I guess my message is the 22nd of March is going to be intense, but right now we have the full moon. We're going to move into the waning cycle. It's a time to just release and let go. And so hopefully we're going to see the end of these struggles. But as I said, I, I'm saying this partly for the integrity of astrology, but also just because I think I should, you know, 
the world won't magically be perfect when the war in Ukraine is over. You know, we have to, as a human race, we have to keep working towards making the planet better. You know, there's so many other things that we need to address. And for some reason, sex trafficking just keeps coming up and up and up for me at the moment. Every time I think about all the bad SHIT going on in the world, I keep thinking of um, the fact that people are being sex trafficked. Like, to me, that's just like, how are we even letting this happen? And it happens in Europe, you know? It happens, it doesn't happen just in far away countries, you know? Like, it's happening on our back door for those of us who are in, in the UK or Europe. You know so we've still got a long way to go but just focus on the fact that it's getting better we can now go out we can now see our friends we can now hug our grandmas we can now travel again we can now start to live in a more normal fashion and just the, the phrase that I keep coming to is be the light hold the light spread the light okay so that's what we all have to do be the light hold the light spread the light all right so yes this full moon in particular is making a harmonious aspect to the planet Pluto now Pluto is the planet of fury and explosions but it's a harmonious angle so hopefully the full moon is actually going to sort of like kickstart the beginning of turning the corner on on Ukraine which is obviously on everybody's minds at the moment and it has to also be something that we look for ourselves how do we need to transform ourselves you know what do you need to do in your life to transform yourself this full moon okay I'm just going to read before we go any further if again if you've got my diary it's it's under the full moon in Virgo because that's what we've got right now all right, um, I'm going to just read because I've got it in here and it's so beautiful. Let's all do it together. The full moon forgiveness formula. Okay, and it's the ultimate time to do it right now. I'm under the full moon. It's nearly full and it's the time when all our emotions come up. So we have to release and let go. So before I read it, I'm going to ask you, who do you need to forgive? Okay, who do you need to forgive and what incidents in your life do you need to release? You know, maybe you need to release fear because there's been a lot of fear around. Okay, maybe you need to release something that's happened. Maybe you need to release self-doubt. Maybe you need to release a toxic relationship. Whatever it is, think about what do I need to release? What do I need to forgive? And I'm going to read you. Uh, this is actually from my book, Moonology. Okay, so here we go. Are you ready? Just listen to my words. And if you feel so inclined, repeat after me. Okay? All right, here we go. And sorry, <laughs> I'm just going to say something that I have to say before I read this. Forgiving someone doesn't mean what happened was okay. It just means you've decided you are not going to carry it around with you as emotional baggage anymore. All right? Doesn't mean what happened was okay. It means you are letting it go and moving on. And that is the number one thing to do at the full moon. All right? So here we go. Under this glorious full moon, I forgive everything. Just say it after me. Under this glorious full moon, I forgive everything. Everyone. Every experience. Every memory of the past or present that needs forgiveness. I forgive positively everyone. Just drop it in the fire. Any upsets, just drop it in the fire. 
and this is a big one are you ready I also forgive myself of past mistakes the universe is love and I am forgiven and governed by love alone. Realizing this, I abide in peace. I bring love and healing to all my relationships. I learn my lessons and I move on. I call on my soul fragments to be cleansed by the light of the full moon and I call on them to rejoin me now. Under grace, I am healed. We all are healed your hands between your boobs if you've got them so be it sorry I went a little bit off script there but I just wanted to add that little bit in if you've got my diary you can read all that again or if you've got my moonology book all that's in, the, in those books all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to write down what we are releasing the biggest number one thing that we're releasing. You can write it in the comments or you can write it on a piece of paper and burn it. I'm going to write it on a piece of paper but first of all I'm going to try and get some music out of this thing. Uh, good if I knew how to operate it, wouldn't it? Olivier, darling, if you're still listening, can you help me please? All right. No. Nope. Darling, how do I get music? Oh, there we are. I think I've got it. But I haven't, I haven't uh, set it up for music. Oh, it's, it doesn't have music? It's, I've know. got Apple Music. Okay, well, try. Ido and Joe. Try. As if by magic. Uh, there we are. All right. Hopefully the sound is quite loud. Oh, this content is not, not authorised. No, no. Do you have it on your phone? So while we're faffing around with this, grab a piece of paper. Oh, there we are. It's magic, my husband. Oh, darling, I just need a, a pen as well. I don't ask much. Woo tea. and joe jo com, and i have permission to play their music so pen and paper guys pen and paper i want you to write down what you're releasing simple this month. I know exactly who and what I need to forgive and release. I'm just going to enjoy the music. Write in the comments what you're releasing and then just sit with it and think I am letting this go. Could be fear, could be doubt, could be fear of money shortages, it could be fear of war, it could be fear of anything. Just let it go. And if you're forgiving yourself or someone, just try and send some love. I know that might be hard. 
try and be compassionate and try and understand that anyone who's hurt you was probably hurt themselves because hurt people hurt. I know that's a big ask. If you possibly can, do it. Once you've done that, you don't have to dwell on it. Just say, I release you. I release you. No longer in my life. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to come and cut all the cords we have to anyone we need to forgive. Just cut all my cords to anybody who I'm releasing. Any situations, any fears, any doubts. Archangel Michael, thank you for using your mighty sword to cut the cords. With anyone and everyone in my life, I need to release under the full moon. Edo and Joe, edo and joe.com is the music and I have their kind permission to play it. That's a song called Narayani which is dedicated to the teacher that we share at the ashram in India that I was telling you about. Alright, well I hope you've written it down. I can see lots of comments going through. We've called in Archangel Michael to cut the cords and now we're going to put this in the fire. And I want you to remember something they taught me in India. This is not a rubbish bin, this fire. This is a sacred fire. So by putting this in, it's not like I'm just chucking it in the bin. I'm putting it in the sacred fire to be transmuted for me. And I'm putting it in on behalf of anybody who's written in the comments or written it down for you too, whether you're watching live or the replay. Here we go. Om Namo Narayani. Om Namo Narayani. Om Namo Narayani. We just ask the divine burn it all away. I'm just going to do the chant again, okay? Oh, om Namo Narayani just Three times. Oh, just going to ask you to do a big pink bubble around yourself and your family and your friends or even just you and your family nice pink bubble of protection and just let it all go How was that for you guys? I hope it was okay. All right, so let's see what the cards have got to say to us. Oh, okay, Facebook, sorry, I know that it went blank for a minute there. We actually got the full moon in Virgo card and it's the full. So I think we're going to take that as an affirmation that we are safe and all is well. All right. The full moon in Virgo card has come up at the full moon in Virgo for the second time this week, actually. I didn't even realize when it came up last, last time. And okay, we're just going to do the affirmation. These are my Moonology Manifestation cards, my second deck. I'm just going to share the affirmation. 
I, oh my God, I love this. I forgive myself for everything. I am doing my best. All right, so say it with me, silently or out loud. I, or put it in the comments. I forgive myself for everything. I am doing my best. Thank you, divine. The divine is with us. All right, so I'm going to end now with a final chant. And I'm afraid to say I'm going to do the same chant. That will be nine times I've done that chant tonight. And nine is a very sacred number. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope this has been useful to you. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to end with the chant. So here we go. Oh, Om Namo Yasmin Boland coming to you live and direct from my garden in London wishing you the happiest of full moons get outside have a look the full moon is up there somewhere in London she's behind the clouds I'll see you soon <laughs>